Ahoy there! Admiral Ajax here, and we're back for part two of Alan Wake, so let's get this train, this ship on the go. Let's get this going. Right. So, last part, well, see, we arrived at Bright Falls. There we go, Bright Falls. A rather very scenic, beautiful place. So, I guess that's my wife. Hello. Let's act like we're on vacation. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. Right. Oh, <laughs> sure. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy, moments before he got eaten by a bear. So we know two things. Hi. He has nightmares, and he's very pessimistic. Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Deerfest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? You have a lovely wife, if you don't mind me saying. I'm Pat Bain, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Ellen Wake. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I could get an interview? Look, Mr. Maine, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be discreet. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. You know, guys, considering this game's actually fairly old now, it's, it's very pretty still. I, I can't deny it that. It's a very pretty game. What do I do? What do I do? Very I... nice. I got a couple of really good ones. And I see you made a friend. That's yeah. cute. Right. There. Yeah? Hey, bestseller. How's my favorite writer? Are you there yet? Barry. Yeah. We just got here. Are the locals giving you trouble? Just say the word and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry. We're fine. Great. Great. Just want to make sure you can relax and recharge. So, how is the place? Have they gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. Just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. Damn. You know he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Text message for Let's Barry. See who has the last he says hi to you too. Okay. Good day to you too. God dang it, guys, I want to stay on our ship. This could be on our first little sailory thing. God, that sounds so bad. <laughs> Sorry if I'm stepping back to you, I've got a cold. With all them books are being read. Get back on the get back on the car. Okay. Easy to leave ferry. We need to stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stuckey. He's waiting for us. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes? Sure. Alan, thank you for coming here with me. I love you, too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. Isn't she cute? I'd forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for... Mr. Wake. Alan Wake. Oh, God! I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose, I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Oh, of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. I can't believe it. I've got all your books. I got the cutout from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. And you keep it here. Well, okay. Good for you. Uh, right. So much for a quiet vacation. She's a little weird. Try the coffee. Just don't blame me when you fall in love, because it'll break your heart when you have to leave. Do me a favor, Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. Coconut number six in the jukebox. No, no this better I'd not be the sound. I do it myself, but no. both of my legs no. have gone no. to sleep. No. Bad circulation! Please don't. Yeah! Are you serious? Coconut again? You disgust me. 
Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. Ah, it does that. Get stuck. Yeah, you need to give it a good solid whack. Now that's what I'm talking about. Yes. This is it. I've died and gone to hell. Of all songs. Why you do this, Alan Wake? Why you do this? Thermal cup. What's the crap with the thermal cups? Mm -hmm. I know, it's scary. Don't let it out. in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I think I can handle it, ma'am. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find Stuck to get the key and get out as soon as possible. To the women's, to the, the women's, to the women's. giving me a headache. To the window, Older, to the window. always dead. Let's go this way. Can I do anything here? No. Hello? Mr. Stucky? Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks. Help. Nope. No. Nope. No. Nope. That's cool. No. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. No. Don't like you. Got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself. Shut up, Miss Beck. This really ought to be fixed. Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you all right? I'm out of here. The Andersons. They're uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic oh, at the Cauldron the... Lake. Bye, Mr. Wake. Bye. Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! That diner was a real nut house. <laughs> Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. Batman here on PBF FM. I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Here's another one of my favorites to go with it. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer. But that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years. Not since my last book. Boma. Gonna be a clear night, so you folks in the big city might want to look up every once in a while and see those stars winking down at you. It gets pretty dark oh, out here, but we're gonna die. They'll light your way. <laughs> we're gonna die. I can I see the pain in your face, Alan. We're gonna die. It's gorgeous, Alan. It's something, all right. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. <sighs> and I've got the flashlight. I mean, yeah, I've got the flashlight. Alice had well, well, good. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before light sunset. Listen here, my hearties. I actually think we're going to die. This is rather bad. An old generator had been connected to the power cable. Wait, what? I skipped it. Check. Fine. Cool. Let's go. So yeah, I'm just so glad. The lights are on. Good work, honey. Thank I'll you. Up a bit and start settling in. Okay. I'll look around a bit. Sure thing. We're gonna die. <laughs> We're gonna die. It was a beautiful place. I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, 
and forget about my work. I thought we could be happy here. So, fellow privateers, has anyone just got the most horrendously bad feeling about this? Oh, God. Alice? Honey? A shoebox filled with books by Thomas Zane Thomas sat Zane. on the shelf. I'd never heard of him before. Hey, coffee cup. Just for the record, guys, I'm probably not going to make too much of an effort to. I have a surprise for you. Not too much of an effort to try and get the coffee mugs, but if I do pass them, I will get them. So, I'm not going to make too much of an effort for a clue. Hello. Ha ha ha. Oh. Well, hello there. I'm not the surprise. Ah. It's in the study. Go take a look. <laughs> Why you do this? Okay. God damn you, Alice. Surprise! Alice? What is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past- Damn, Alice, you- Everyone Hey, keeps... hey, hey, just hear me out. There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe... So now you want to get me committed? No, it's not like that. That's not... Alan? Alan? I don't, just don't. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. God damn it. I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. <sighs> Damn it. <sighs> Alice? had gone dark. All the lights were uh... Alice! Where are you? Help! Alice! Fucking birds like Resident Evil. No, no, no. What the hell? Go away, birdies. Damn, crazy. Alice! No! No! Ah! I'm coming. Stay away from me! You got this. I'm coming. Alice? Ah! Alice? Oh, no! <gasps> Keep going, Alice. <gasps> Wake up. Alice? Uh. Waking up in the crashed car felt like I had woken from one nightmare and entered another. I couldn't remember how I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. Well. I think this is a good place to end it, guys. So, thanks for coming along. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and become another private here. Take it easy, guys. Bye!